Hello and welcome to ANSI's tutor. In this demonstration we would analyze the flow in between rotating cylinders. There are two concentric cylinders, the inner one is rotating at an angular velocity of 40 radians per second in the anti-clockwise direction. The outer cylinder is kept stationary. There is a flow of water in the annular space in between. Simulate this problem in ANSI's fluent. From this tutorial you would learn how to create the hollow cylinder geometry using the primitives option. How to mesh the geometry using sweep mesh method. How to put the moving wall boundary condition in ANSI's fluent solver. Solver setup and result analysis in CFD post-processing. Before proceeding, it's a request please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications of our new uploads. Open the ANSI's workbench. Drag the fluid flow fluent into the project schematic space. Right-click on geometry and select the new design modeler geometry to open the geometry creation tool. Set the default unit as millimeter. Click on create menu then select primitives then select cylinder. Enable the thinner surface option. Enter the radius of the cylinder. Then enter the thickness of the hollow cylinder. Enter the length of the cylinder in Z component as it's extruded along Z direction. Click on Generate. The geometry creation process is complete. Now proceed for meshing. Open the meshing workbench. Right click on mesh, select insert. Select sizing. Choose the edge sizing. Select the inner edges. Then click on apply. Select the type as number of divisions. Enter the number of divisions. Change the behavior to hard. Again insert another sizing option, in this, select the outer two circular edges. Click on apply. Select the type. Enter the number of divisions. Change the behavior to hard. Click on generate mesh. Right click on mesh and insert a method. Select the body and click on apply. Choose the method as sweep. Select the axisymmetric algorithm. Now go to default sizing menu, turn on the adaptive sizing option. Increase the resolution for a better cell distribution. All hexahedral cells are generated. Now select the boundary surfaces and assign the names to the boundaries.
right click on mesh and select update. It will link the generated cells with the solver. Close the meshing and proceed for solver setup. Open the setup. Select the double precision model for a better accuracy. Click on start. Check the mesh in the solver, make sure that the minimum volume is not negative. Check the quality of the mesh. Keep the default K Omega SST turbulence model. Take the default water as the fluid material from the Fluent Default Material database. Assign the fluid material in the cell zone. Now select the boundary conditions. Select the inlet boundary and put the inlet velocity. Keep the default value of the turbulent intensity and turbulent viscosity ratio if you don't know the value. At the outlet, keep the outflow boundary condition. To keep the inner cylinder rotating, enable the moving wall option. Choose the rotational option. As we had created the cylinder at the center, so the rotational axis is starting from the origin. As it's extruded along Z-axis, so in the rotational axis direction box put one. Enter the rotational speed. Positive value make the wall to rotate in anti-clockwise direction and negative value for clockwise rotation. If you want to provide roughness values to the pipe, you can put that in the wall roughness option. Keep the default roughness value and click on OK. Keep the outer cylinder as stationary wall. The default operating pressure is the atmospheric pressure. Select the coupled pressure velocity coupling scheme. Select the second order upwind for turbulent kinetic energy and specific dissipation rate. Click on monitor and select residuals. Decrease the residuals up to 10 to the power minus 7 for all the numerical equations, a better solution accuracy. Click on Initialize, select the standard initialization. Select Compute from all zones to start solving from all zones. Then click on Initialize. Enter the number of iterations and click on Calculate. Calculation is complete. Solution get converged on 249 iterations. Save the project and close the solver.
Open the CFD post processing workbench. Insert the streamlines. Start the streamlines from the inlet. We can now observe the flow in between the rotating cylinders. Click on animation option and select quick animation. Click on play to simulate the flow. Increase the number of points to increase the streamlines. This is the solution animation video. Hide the streamlines by unchecking it in the outline tree. Insert a contour. Set inlet as the location. Velocity is the variables to observe the velocity contour. Change the location to outlet to observe the velocity contour at the outlet. Insert a new plane on YZ plane. Insert a new contour. Local range contour varies the contour as per the location or surface only, while global range is for the full domain. Similarly check the other variables too.
With this let's conclude this demonstration. If you like this tutorial please hit the like button. Please subscribe to our channel. Comment below for any suggestion or feedback. Thank you. Stay safe.